What's going on guys? Pre-Raptor here. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, so today is a really, really special video, special for me at least, because ever since Safina was released in Tekken 7 Season 3, which is like last month, I believe, she has been <clears throat> a blast. She has been an amazing character so far. I love the character so, so freaking much, man. So freaking much. Uh, she has been amazing. Uh, I don't know how many times amazing I've said, but hey, I'm going to keep on saying it because she is really that. And I didn't say amazing. So what makes a character amazing so far? Um, so basically I made a prediction video on uh, Safina even before Safina came out and they, some of you might think that oh Zaf just because Safina has that claw arm now it, it, she's become a favorite or character because of that. No, no that's not the case my friends. Um, I the, the, When I made my prediction video <laughs> for Safina uh, I didn't know that she was going to be coming up with a claw arm or anything like that. I really wanted Zafina to be in Tekken 7 Season 3. Uh, and she and we finally got her and she is amazing as always again amazing so why do i why did i pick zafina as a as my main for tekken 7 or yeah actually so i i, I wanted to play zafina ever since tekken 6 but i haven't played zafina in tekken tag 2 from, from what i know people always said that tekken tag 2 zafina was really weak and she was not a playable character in tournament wise and uh, since she's come out in Tekken 7 Season 3, most of you might think that, oh, she's, she might be the same as the Tekken, 2, uh, Tekken Tag 2, but that's really not the case. Since Tekken 7 is really a balanced game, since it's a really balanced game, Zafina is balanced. I mean, she is not weak, she is not really overpowered or anything like that. She's a really mix-up heavy character. But uh, I'm going to show you guys a video which uh, I've been which I did yesterday, which I was fighting online on PS4 yesterday. And one of my best videos where I did a really good comeback. Uh, I, I'm really happy about this video. I'm really happy about this video. All right, let me just quickly play it and I will talk as uh, the video runs on. So for you guys, you see, all the combos that you guys see here are basically the combos which I've learned myself. So ever since she came out, I've labbed her. I haven't seen any tutorials, even when I went on Twitch. If I saw other YouTube, one of my favorite uh, or my favorite Twitch streamers like Main Man or Main Man never played I think I think it was King J or other major Tekken players even if I saw someone playing it I would immediately click out because I would want because I I, I wanted to learn the characters mix-ups and everything myself uh, another major question is is Zafina mm, a really beginner friendly character no she's not I mean She's got, she's got so many mix-ups, she's got so many mix-ups, she's got stances, she's got the Scarecrow stance, she's got Tarantula stance, and all of these stances to learn takes a lot of time, it takes a hell lot of time. But if you guys are into like learning mix-ups and if you guys have the patience, so she's basically like Lei, where he, Lei has so many stances, more than Zofina. Um, but you, would, you would ask me why I didn't learn Lei because of the stances, it's, it's not just because of the stances or any of the mix-up thing, it's, because, it, it's, one, it's one of the reasons, but... The character as a whole is the reason I wanted to play Zafina because when I played Zafina in Tekken 6, I never played her on a competitive level base skill or in, in like or the, the Tekkens which I played earlier, I never played them on a competitive level base. So I played them as casuals with my friends or my cousins and stuff like that. But every, every but ever since Tekken 7 season came out, uh, they introduced the uh, screw system and stuff like that. And that's what got me into learning more about the characters and about the screw mix ups and shit like that. So yeah, uh, and Zafina is really fun. She's got really she's she, she's a really hard character to learn. She's a really hard character to learn. So once you lab her, you are gonna need a lot of muscle memory, and your fingers are gonna bleed. Trust me, your fingers are gonna bleed. They are gonna bleed a lot. Um, but yeah, if but uh, using Zafina's combos online and executing them is so much gratifying. It's so much gratifying. I, I, I kid you not, once you land these combos online and once they do damage and once you win with Zafina, you will want to play the game with Zafina a lot more. She is freaking fun, man. She's freaking fun. Uh, but yeah, that's all I gotta say. That was like kind of a late review of Zafina from my, from my side, but I just wanted to throw it out there because I absolutely love the character and thank you Harada and Michael Murray for that. And I'm, ex I'm excited to see what Leroy Smith and other characters are going to be for the game as well. But if you guys want me to make more um, character predictions for two upcoming characters for, for season 3 let me know in the comments down below and what do you think about Zafina being in Tekken 7 now are you guys meaning her how do you like her so far if you're like if you feel like eh, she's really not for me let me know 
uh, whatever about the character, let me know in the comments down below. That being said, you guys are awesome. Stay safe. Peace. Legends never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them scream?